Hey folks, Mason Luke here, and today I'm going to actually show you some new product samples. Um, so I really wish I would have done this as an unboxing video, however, when I opened the box I had no idea what was inside it. Um, and then by that point I was already too excited, so I just kept opening it. Uh, but what I want to show you is these product samples that I just got. These are not on the market. Um, well, some of them are on the market, but some of them aren't. Anyways, I'll show you. So anyways, LA Pumps is a manufacturer of pumps for both penises and cl clitorises. Um, so I have been actually just recently started selling their pumps as well as their attachments. Uh, so this is like an example of one of their attachments that I'm still selling. It's on my website now. Uh, so this is considered their one inch. This is the largest one that they have that is marketed to people with a clitoris. Um, that is mostly used for trans masculine folks. That's what I'm selling it for anyways. Uh, so I found out the who the owner of the company was, got in touch with them on social media, and had basically reached out because one of my subscribers had asked me, you know, what happens next if I outgrow this? Because uh, basically right now what they this company does is they go from this size to like a nine inch penis pump. Uh, so not very much in between. So I asked them, you know, if there's any possibility that they had other pumps that are in between those two sizes, explain the demographic uh, that I work with. And he was, the guy's name is Chris. He's the owner of the company. Um, and he was really ecstatic about like what I was doing and was like, yeah, I can absolutely do that. You know, I, we manufacture ourselves. We don't have to worry about, you know, like outsourcing things. We independently can do this. It won't, won't be much effort at all. Like we can do this. So I was like, cool. So here, he actually mailed me some product samples to uh, show you guys. And uh, this is something that could easily become available. Um, I can sell these, but I really would like to for you guys to see them uh, and give some feedback and then tell me, you know, if there's an ideal size that you think would be appropriate. Um, and maybe it's all of them. Maybe it's a couple of them. Maybe there's one I don't have. But anyways, let me show you what I got so that way you guys get a comparison. Um, so again, this was the one inch. So it has a one inch opening in the base um, and it's about three inches tall, which means if you're pumping, you can get up to about three inches with this one. Now, some folks have already told me that they've already gotten three inches. Um, what What's the next step, basically? So there are other pumps around. However, they are not the same type, they're not the same brand, um, and they might not have the same lasting effects based on the type of, of usage they are. They're marketed more toward cisgendered men as a penis head pump and it adds more girth as opposed to length, if that makes more sense. So let me show you these guys. So the smallest one that I have as far as height or length is this one here. Um, hopefully you guys can see this. So it's a one and a half inch opening. So it's slightly bigger here, uh, but still maintains the three inches in length. Um, but yeah, one and a half inch opening. And this has more of like a flared or flanged or a wide base to it. So basically it can get attached to that skin probably a little bit better, you know, instead of having kind of a, a really low or, or small one. Uh, this one can kind of get really close to the body and allow more suction inside it um, with a little bit less slippage. Now, if you have a lot of skin tissue around that area, this may not be the one for you uh, and that seal might not work as much. But this one is the one and a half inch opening. So this way, uh, diameter is one and a half inch opening and then three inches in length. So that's the first one. Our next one is a one and a quarter, and it doesn't say length, but I'm going to say based on the size to size, it's probably about three and a half inches. Let's see. And there's a four here. So looking at this one, yeah, about three and a half inches. So this one, three and a half inches length and size to size, looks like we still have the one and a half inch diameter. So same diameter as this guy, a little less opening, um, and a little extra length. So now we're at three and a half inches. So I'm just going to keep that handy. All right. So our next one looks very similar to this. We're still getting, yep, that same style opening. The only difference is we're now at four inches here. So actually this one does say it on here. So we got 
one and a half inches in opening, four inches in length. So a little bit bigger there. And then the last one was the one actually that I was most interested in because um, this is what someone had asked for saying they already had it around four inches. Uh, what's next? So now we have a one and a half inch diameter. So one and a half inch here. And then we're now up to five inches in total length. So we went from this guy to this guy. So an extra inch. So a lot of different options there as far as, um, you know, do you prefer the wide flanged opening? Do you prefer the thin flanged opening? Um, do you think that there's a benefit of, you know, going with a four inch if you could have a five inch? Is this too big? So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. But thank you so much to LA Pumps for creating these samples um, and letting me get some feedback from you guys of what you guys are interested in. But I think that these are going to end up being a really great add-on to their already existing pump. So that way you guys can get that desired length and girth that you guys want without having to compromise on the product type. You know, you don't have to buy one marketed toward women. You don't have to buy one marketed for cisgendered men. Um, you know, these are gender neutral pumps, but great for our specific anatomy. So let me know what you think. Again, thanks so much to LA Pump for sending these. Um, and I hope to get some feedback to them in the near future. Thanks everyone.